So we start with locating it. So it can be a good idea to drop what I call drop into presence. So perhaps you take a deep breath into your belly. And relax with that breathing again, deep breath into your belly. And that really helps pull us back into our bellies and pull us back into the moment so we're more present and aware of what's going on inside our own bodies. Now, the reason I'm getting this out because we're in the middle of, the, as I record this, we're in the middle of lockdown with coronavirus, COVID-19. And everyone I'm dealing with, as a coach and as a teacher, and even with friends and loved ones, there's a certain sense of uh, upregulation, which I mean is that there's a little bit too much stress going on in some people's systems. There's too much, uh, maybe not all that panic or anxiety, but that can be there. And also there's a lot of um, underlying stressors, hinting at underlying fears. And of course, it's valid and appropriate right now to be experiencing fear. The problem is you want to let some of that go and release any fears that we can so that we can get on with doing what we need to do and being with whom we need to be with and living the lives we need to live as we go through this time of uncertainty and as we start to put to rebuild a future that will probably never be the same as the way we had it before and that will take energy and we'd rather rather than fighting resisting these other energies we're going to, we're going to release them so we can get on with doing what we need to do okay so let's um release something together and i would suggest we all collectively release the fears and uncertainties brought up in us by coronavirus. So the first step is locate. So from presence, remember that breath into your belly. From presence, I want you to just honestly close your eyes and, and bring to your attention any sensations or associations as you think about coronavirus as you think about fears and certainties and doubts that have been brought up by coronavirus and notice what's happening in your body as those are brought to mind and get a sense of where the tension you're looking for tension or contraction or even a heaviness in your body for me i'm getting something in my chest and actually my face so i'm covering my face and my my chest and I feel like a contraction to the wants to come in. And my breath changes to a shallower breath when I do that. So become aware of what it is for you. It, it'll be something different for everybody. So become aware of where this, where this sensation of tension, contraction, or heaviness it is in your body. You may want to put your hand on it and get in touch with it. Now, the key is that we can become aware of that and not get lost and then not go into the fears or certainly just be aware of where it is in the body, the contraction. And then from presence, so I have a video on presence and you can get good at that. So to become present, we just drop into our bodies, feeling, breathing room through our belly, feeling your feet, your legs, your hips, chest, your head, whole body, where it's the internal world and the external world. So you're really present and aware. And from here, become aware of the location, the contraction. And from here, with the attitude of being the gracious, gracious host, I say to this fear, in my case, it's a fear. I see you, I accept you. And now what we do next, we just soften, we just, Allow ourselves to soften. I see you. I accept you. Just need to, only, need to, only need to say that once. And just try and soften and bring some space. Simply by observing. We're not thinking here, not doing. We're more being in presence and being in a state of allowance and acceptance. And notice where, what happens. So for me, and it's different for everyone, but for me right now, is, um, the contraction I was kind of pointing in is slowly opening up. 
So we're just observing and allowing the body to do what it needs to do. We're allowing the energy to move. We're softening and allowing the flow. So allowing that energy, we're gonna treat this as just a trapped energy. It was something that we came into the system, wasn't processed in the moment, and this hung around with us. And now we're bringing our conscious awareness to it, softening and allowing. And we're noticing what happens. And what, what will generally happen is that if you've managed to soften, you can even move your, you can even mis gently massage your, slowly move your hand to assist it, but just like massage, opening it up, softening, allowing. And then observing the energy until it wants to leave your body. Now, it might want to leave your body in different ways. It could come out through your hands, it could come out through your mouth, the breath, the feet. In my case, it's going down. I still I mean, you're like watching the river, you're just observing that energy. And for me, it's flowing down, down, down. To the feet, to the ground there. It's really a matter of observing and allowing. And it usually comes a point where it's just gone. That particular energy that you were observing and tracking is just gone. For me, it's still in my feet, but it's going. We don't need to rush it, we don't need to push it, we're just allowing. And then what we do then is repeat, because there may be many layers to this. So we go back inside, we get into presence, breathe into the belly. Five, four, three, two, one, and the exhale. From presence. Thinking of the coronavirus, noticing what comes up. I'm getting kind of a, this time it's a contraction in my diaphragm. I'll take a freeze. So the fight, fight, or freeze response is appropriate for me. It's like freezing. <clears throat> so I'm caught contraction in my diaphragm. So I welcome it. I see you. I accept you. I see you. you know, observe that softening and space coming in around us. Noticing when it wants to move. For me, this time it's coming out through my arms, flowing into my arms, both my arms. Towards my hands. And that through my hands. So remember, that each it's for me, it's different every time. It could be uh, similar or different for every time. So each time it's different for everybody and it's different for you each time. So we're simply observing, not analyzing, not wondering, allowing it. And I'm allowing the energy to flow out through my body. And when it's done, we repeat. We repeat over and over until we get a sense of freedom and expansion, even when we think about, in this case, the coronavirus. So again, coronavirus, this time we're getting something over my head. I see you. I accept you. Coming down, observing coming down through my face. I'm just going to wipe it off this time. I 
releasing through the breath. From me, that's the way it wants to come out this time. And interestingly, I've just noticed my, my feet relax. And it seems completely unrelated, but generally we're, as we release these tensions out of our bodies, our whole system can, uh, can flip, flip back into relaxation. So for all I know, my foot might have been tense for two weeks now or longer. And now it's just uh, softening, relaxing. And again, if we were to do this over and over, we'll go back, we think about the coronavirus again, located in the body. I think that's enough for the demonstration. I've already done this several times in different ways. So you can use the same technique when other, other stuff comes up. Or, or if you're frustrated with somebody, perhaps in lockdown, it's quite easy to get frustrated with people you're in close contact with all the time. Um, release the frustrations, release the resentments, release the bitterness. Sometimes you need to have conversations as well, and it's forced boundaries, but great tool. Um, and please do feel free to ask questions. You can use the contact page on our website. And also I offer three 30 minute sessions uh, so use that, use my website, designyourlifecoaching.ie to go there and book your free 30 minute session. And I can guide you through this, I say, perhaps in a more individual one-to-one -one way. Okay. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.